Today it was announced that Sony had bought out uh, a company called Gakai. Now, for the people who don't know of Gakai, uh, primarily those here in Britain, it didn't really get any popularity over here. It's a online cloud uh, gaming service. So, think on live. They were the other big players in this market. And what they do is effectively just run games online. They they play the game on the server. And you watch a video stream of it and send your button commands. And then the server does all the processing. It, what it meant, in effect, is that as long as you had a device capable of showing a video, then you had the most powerful PC that you will ever own. Because you had an entire server bank to do your processing for you. So this, this meant that you didn't constantly have to upgrade your machine, uh, didn't have to worry about the, the latest graphics card or the latest drivers, because they'd handle that. Basically, as with all cloud services, the idea of cloud is basically, you pay us to make sure this works. And then, what we do, you don't need to know. As long as it works, that's all that's good. So if they need to throw an extra three servers at it, they throw three more servers at it. If they need to change all the sound cards in all the, all the machines, they change all the sound cards. And that's just how it works. Um, so why has Sony picked them up? Now this is, well, personally quite obvious. They, they picked it up because, uh, like I think like me, at the minute, cloud gaming is not brilliant. It's an interesting concept. It's fun to play with. However... The infrastructure isn't there yet. It's our mobile, our, our telephone network here in the UK doesn't handle it very well in certain areas. I know the states have got it a bit better because your infrastructure is better because it's uh, more privatised and there's more money being bumped into it. But the rest of the world is in the same state as the UK, if not worse. So, excuse me. Cloud gaming just hasn't taken off and won't for the foreseeable future. So, why Sony have picked them up is, well, for the future. They're planning ahead to when the infrastructure has caught up. And it's a genius move. It's going to be an integral part of the next generation PlayStation, whatever that turns out to be. I would be very surprised if we don't see the starts of it in the PS3 within the next year. I'm going to go out and say a year to get this uh, service bolted on. And what I see them using it for, because they haven't actually publicly said anything yet, is the first thing they'll do is they'll they'll plummet into every Sony uh, Vieira TV. It will be in every Sony TV as part of their standard software. That there's a gaming streaming service that allows you to play PS3 games without a PS3, as long as you subscribe. Uh, that will part. That will mirror the part, uh, mirror the deal that they've all uh, Gakai already had with Samsung, and I think it was LG or LG might have been signed into One Live. I'm not sure which way around it was. Other than that, on the PS3 itself, what we will see pop up is a Gakai streaming service. And it will do what Gakai have already trialled. Now, a couple of months back, was it months? Yes, a couple of months back, Gakai offered a streaming trial of Terror. Now, that's an MMO, bit, down, minimum client size, about 20 gig. So to try to get a demo of that, you'd have to download 20 gig. But that's the point of cloud gaming. You don't have to download that 20 gig. You just click and you're playing. And that's what Sony are looking to do with Gakai. That's one of the, one of the first things they'll do. Demos will no longer be downloaded. They will be streamed from the cloud services. So that's going to happen. And then, yeah, as the infrastructure picks up and all the technology catches up with it so that it really doesn't matter how far you are from a server bank. Once we get to the speeds where latency just is not an issue, then the uh, that was the dog, by the way. Um, 
once that gets to be a non-issue, they will yes just start playing games purely from the server. I'll still f want a copy on my own machine for when I can't connect to the server, but that's that'll become personal choice at that point. So it's an interesting future, a good purchase by Sony in my opinion. It gives them a heads up over Microsoft, but then Microsoft have been experimenting with their own cloud stuff for quite some time, but just not in the gaming context. It's uh, it's going to be interesting to see if uh, Microsoft can push over that general cloud knowledge into the gaming marketplace faster than Sony can leverage Gakai's gaming-based specialism into their own platform and that's all I've got on that story <laughs>